Hi guys, I'm standing here with one of my favorite people. It's my kitchen brother, Thomas <laughs> Joseph, who is going to be having his own new show right here on this channel, airing on Saturdays. So for the first time ever, videos new on Saturdays. It's called Kitchen Conundrums, and he's gonna be sharing lots of great tips and techniques. You may remember a couple days ago, he showed us about the perfect burger, and today he's gonna to share his tip for more perfect ribs. Yes. What's the tip for more perfect ribs? Well, I think that a lot of people, they don't know this. You know, when they're making their baby mm -hmm. back ribs or their spare ribs, they don't know that there's something, it's very important. Very, very important. important. I mean, actually, if you haven't been doing this, you've been doing it all wrong. It is true. <laughs> yep, all wrong. And actually, if you do not do this in barbecue competitions, you will be eliminated. So, so next time you're in a barbecue so competition, you better do this trick. And Thomas is gonna teach us right now what it is. Yes, so we're basically going to remove mm -hmm. the membrane from the back of the baby yeah. back ribs. Yep. It's almost like a silver skin, so it's tough. So Do you in think the people end, know what silver skin is? Silver skin is very, very tough tissue, membrane, and it doesn't break down during cooking, so it ends up being a very tough texture. It's Let not it... only tough and you don't want to eat it, it's inedible, really. But here it's just gonna make your ribs really hard to eat. Yes, hard and to not eat pleasant. and hard to cut as well. And hard to cut. So, so this takes a little bit of work here to try and figure out where the start is. So you wanna go towards the, the tapered end, the, mm -hmm. the narrow end okay. of the ribs. I'd like to do it with my thumb. You can use a knife okay. if you'd like. And you basically try and separate. Oh, I know, I just messed up. Uh-oh. Okay, this is what happened last time. He, he told me about this once before and I tried to do it on camera and it didn't work. <laughs> you want to start peeling off the membrane and getting it in one piece. Mm -hmm. You don't want to rip it too much because you really need a good section to start with. Okay. The paper towel is also, it's a great helper here because it will. Mine's working this time. It? Last time it totally didn't work. Let's see, oh sh oops, I spoke too <laughs> soon. Did you see I almost said the S word? But mm. the thing is, you might have to do this a few times. So Sarah's is coming off in one nice piece. Mine's coming off in strips, but either way. Well, now it's a strip. It's pretty simple to remove. I actually didn't know about this tip until last summer when we were talking about it and you're like, did you remove the membrane? And I was like, <laughs> uh, what membrane? <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the membrane police. Anyway, it, it really does make quite a difference. It makes a huge difference when you're eating it. It's a more pleasant experience. And it won't get you thrown out of a barbecue competition. And that's really our major goal in life. <laughs> so next time you make ribs, make sure to remove your membrane and you're gonna have a better eating experience. And in fact, next week I'm making ribs and I'm gonna use this very trick for a fantastic Chinese spare rib recipe. Ooh, very nice, thank you. Come back anytime, Thomas. Oh wait, he's gonna be here on our very channel on Saturdays, so subscribe to get my videos, Thomas's videos, and Shira's videos. Now we have three shows every week. Go figure out, I mean, work on the does... weekends. <laughs>